Hello, beautiful community. What's the meaning of Joe Biden's visit to Kiev? Let's spend a few minutes um, focusing on a few key takeaways for us. I think there's a real psychological meaning because just as um, you know, an apple bum has been saying in the last few hours, um, Ukraine's fighting a war of attrition on several fronts and one of them is psychological. And in the run up to the year anniversary of Putin's brutal invasion. Um, this is a really meaningful psychological plan. Now, what's the meaning of it in terms of US and by extension Western Ukraine policy? And it's very important to be sober here. And how sober we should be is a really serious question, actually, which is why quite a few of you have asked me to comment on the recent Kotkin interview um, where he was particularly bleak and we might actually do that in the next few days. Now the meaning is that the United States is committed to Ukraine being independent, period, no negotiation. But what else is the United States committed to? I think that as things stand the fairest thing to say is that the US administration is committed to putting Ukraine in a stronger position so that in a while from now Ukraine will either be able to negotiate from a stronger position than it has now or to actually go on and kick Russia out back to Feb 2020 to borders, if not earlier. Now, there is no US commitment about where things are going to fall. It's about making Ukraine um, persist, making Ukraine stronger in this battle, and then seeing where we are later. So that's, I think, the sober uh, reality. It's not a Ukraine is going to win by kicking the Russians out. It's putting Ukraine in a stronger position and then seeing where we're going to be in a while from now. Now, I've made a couple of notes on themes that we should touch, so let's jump to those very quickly. Um, in terms of Kremlin nuclear blackmail, which a few of you have asked me about, um, the majority of the implied Kremlin red lines are not being taken seriously any longer by the West. And in a certain sense, Biden's visit is an illustration of this. But what it means isn't that no Kremlin red line is going to be taken seriously. What it means is that it's part of escalation management to watch out for when to take and when not to take Kremlin nuclear rhetoric seriously. In terms of consolidation and sort of mood mobilization, as far as the U.S. context is concerned, I want to be always careful because I think the U.S. political situation is so remarkable and it needs groundwork for an effective conversation about it. I'll just say something brief, as I always like to, until we put more of that groundwork in in some upcoming videos. Um, in the Ukraine, in the U.S. context, Ukraine issue is marginally a losing issue at the moment, and Therefore, this does more for Ukraine in the U.S. information environment than it does for Biden. That's roughly, that's roughly where we are. And the aim is, certainly with a view to the domestic audience, as far as the citizen mobilization is concerned, citizen sort of psychological mobilization is concerned, is to remind those citizens who are open to looking on the issue favorably that it's still there, that it's still centrist, central, that it's still important, and that U.S. support for Ukraine is actually making a huge difference on the ground. And then there's an effect of mobilizing those parts of the world that are with the United States on this and mobilizing Europe and continuing to encourage Europe to be more awake to the reality that it is kind of at war, um, which Europe still doesn't understand. Now, what are the Kremlin 
takeaways from this and what are going to be the Kremlin responses. Um, so tomorrow, Feb 21st, Putin is making his Federal Assembly speech and we shouldn't be surprised if the speech is um, spiced up as a result of Biden's visit. They were expecting Biden's visit. I don't know if they were expecting it exactly at this point. So um, they may spice in uh, more threats and more nuclear uh, blackmail. How will the Kremlin interpret Biden's visit? Um, I don't think it makes an enormous substantive difference. But I think what I've said about that, and I've written this down, is that they will take it as the United States now being committed to Russia not realizing its aims for regime stabilization via this war. Some commentators have said that the United States is committed to um, a strategic defeat for Russia. But how they will personally think about it is that the United States is committed to making the Kremlin's regime stabilization tasks via this war hard. Um, that's how I'd put it. Because, of course, we can't say that the United States is committed to kicking Russia out of Ukraine. It's not clearly committed to that. That's something we would like. Um, but what we can say is that there's a very strong commitment and it's, it's strong enough for the Kremlin to be worried about its fundamental war aims being aims that the United States is keen to insist on not being met. And of course, um, you know, we mustn't forget that at this point, the key Russian strategy in this war is not military, but it's a political strategy of uh, exhaustion of the West, right? And that's what sits over and above this rather poorly developing Russian offensive. Um, the key aim here is that there could be success via political exhaustion of the West. Now, in terms of um, Russian propaganda, um, we are seeing and we're going to see a, a bump up in sort of deranged um, nuclear rhetoric. Um, but that's just about it. Um, we may be back tomorrow um, on the chat channel um, with a reaction to Putin's speech, depending on how nutty what he says is. But otherwise, um, I am a good way of the way through what I believe is the most um, exciting video um, to appear on the main channel so far. And I'm aiming for midweek at the moment. I'm aiming for Wednesday. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you an update if it's late. It's only going to be late by a single day. Um, my health has been such that this has been a bit more of a process than, than I would have liked. Uh, but I'm, I'm thrilled to say that we're getting, getting close. That's 11 talk soon.